So, Sando, can you tell us a little bit about what game is, is this right now here? So we've got the eighth match uh, of the league so far. And this is going to be me versus Creoria. So he's playing as Demons of Chaos, and I'm playing as Vampire Counts. Research complete. Which is, I mean, it's cute, right? These are some of the le lesser played uh, races. I guess not so much with Demons of Chaos, just because anytime Creora is in a match, it's he's always playing it, but for the most part. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, the Demons of Chaos here, because this is a very like weird race a very complicated one very different to all the others and uh as many know uh, you need a phd to play it so i think creolia has one because he's always playing it right yep pretty much his phd is secured and i think pretty soon he'll just actually just be a master of this race so I'm surprised, surprised to see that he is not sacrificing his workers to finish the buildings directly. But I think he knows better than me because I don't uh, really play the race. On the other side we see you, yeah? The vampire counts. Okay, you have the artifacts of death. Very cool building. It's the building where you can get items that... Um, like create a uh, summons or something when you when your units die right uh, pretty much yep you have gosh i don't even remember and i play the race right <laughs> yeah that especially t2 though that's all i remember is when you tech to t2 you get like uh it's it's almost like the staff from just regular undead right where you summon the skellies when sacking something but you don't need to sack anything and then if you you just get some summons for free and then if you use it on blight you get more summons so it's like five summons or something per cast you have two charges it's really insane oh i see i heard. think oh in addition you can also that's that's yeah. also yeah you get more units at nighttime too sorry i forgot about that, oh. that little wrinkle and you can also purchase items there right yep. and uh, there's for example an item you can give to your units not to your heroes but to your units and when the units die they will morph into a scarab for example like a summoned unit which is a pretty nice idea i think hey i really nice to see you are there's talk ah, okay i was i was uh confusing this so yeah I was gonna everything say, i, I just said is, is wrong <laughs> there was another race <laughs> But I think there's still stuff like that, I'm pretty sure, as far as uh, sacking units. It's just not, uh, it's not the same. It's like a rod or something Our also that have engaged the enemy. transforms. Or maybe not. I feel like there's one, though. The so we have the allures on the side of uh, Our warriors the have dock engaged. player. Rayoria. I gotta say, the Allurus is probably one of my favorite of the, uh, of the dock heroes. I just, she just seems so cool. She's got, like, the AoE splash attack with, uh, her passive that, like, you get more levels in it. I think it's kind of like that for a lot of the dock heroes. You get more levels in, like, their passive and it makes the other abilities stronger. Very interesting creeping here with two very early heroes. This is one thing at the vamps. You can get a second hero super early. Hey, Speed4Z. Good to see you. Upgrade finished. Yeah, the creeping is super good with like just, just heroes. It's kind of like ideal, right? This is the dream, just to have heroes. And that's the only units you're creeping with. They just all share the EXP from the start. Get good levels. Get a third hero already. After four minutes. Meanwhile, this is, this definitely looks like some kind of earlier timing for Creoria, because I feel like you never really see Plague Bears this early. They're not good at creeping, because they don't do that much damage. They have good health, like they have a good health pool, but that's about it. I you see the AoE sleep here of the Vampire Count. So, uh, okay, the first little push here, but you have a defense defensive structure here 
These are like moon wells. You see the mana under the baleful tower. And with this mana, you can uh, heal like moon wells as well. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Yeah, I feel like these are one of like the most broken structures. I feel like I should just build a ton of these, honestly. Just like a ton out front. Because, I mean, that's what, that's what night elves do. They just have like a ton of them. But I guess this is different since it's not supplying you with food. I don't know. Yeah. Your building is complete. Okay, I figured out the early game already, Spirit for Z says. Yeah, it looks good. So these plague bearers look very tanky, right? Yeah, and with the siege damage, they can just... He can do this, where he just comes, circles around to the expo, and he can, like, threaten to destroy it really fast. Which I think it's probably gonna get destroyed. I don't see how it survives. Yeah. yeah. That it's looks like a council. What are the abilities of the Death Knight looking hero? The Dread Knight. So he's got he's got a Crypt Swarm and like some passives for kind of like stealing health. And we've got the sleep and of course chain heal from the necro. Yeah, this guy here on the horse horse. <laughs> the master necromancer, he can chain heal. Your building is complete. A very defensive play by you here. Yeah, and it looks like I grabbed, it looks like serp or Serpent, Sentry Wards were the drop from the Ogre Magi, so I placed some of them. We'll see where I put this last one. Ideally, I would put it on his Expo, but I don't think I'm going to do that for some reason. Just kind of running in. Yeah, and I just place it in his base. Oh, that's fine. That's a good yeah, one. Not so bad. It would have been better if I think I didn't even see him going to his expo, so I don't know he's clearing this, but I'll probably scout it now. Oh, oh nice steal was... there. <laughs> oh, we did get one. Yeah. And this is where the sleep is so good. Anti trying to creep jack is just absurd, right? Yeah, the AoE sleep is pretty strong. But the Allurus, solo XP, already level 3. Quite strong. Really tanky, even with the... He got unlucky with the roll too, he has negative armor, but... Still positive because of the shield. Oh, I'm gonna lose a hero. Yep, that's not ideal. Our champion has So right now, I think you're just trying to uh, get some time for the expo. And I think that should be possible, right? To get it up. Got a tower there already. That's nice. So not too bad for you, even though... I think the hero is just Our level one. Have engaged the enemy. Yeah, I hope so. Give over a bit of XP with the summons, but not too bad. Not too bad. And he doesn't have... TP, I just realized. Creoria doesn't. I, did he sell it? Your building is uh, he used it earlier. When oh, he, he? After he was cancelling your expansion, you were fighting him oh. and he had to TP there. <laughs> He's attacking his own units so that they <laughs> wake, up. wake up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not ideal to do it with the hero since the hero does so much damage, but it's okay. Has to do it with the hero at least once. Also an expo attempt here. Yeah, and he has it already. Has it, and uh, right now is filling it up with workers. Oh, lost a unit here. Are creeping. Uh, how exactly does it work with Demons of Chaos with a mana bar? So the units don't die, yeah? They they come back to life when they have mana, right? Yeah, as far as I know, it's a chance. I can't remember whether Nightmare said it was just like a 100% chance if they, they have full mana, but it's based on how much mana they have when they first die, and then they lose that. And then the second time they die, they're, they're done. But they could regain that mana. 
potentially be in the same point. Nice creep jack here. Uh, so there is a chance, and it's dependent on the amount of mana, I think, that they respawn. Yep. Oh, oh. Can't lose another hero there. That's not good. Not a huge setback, because gold-wise, this spec, you have a ton of gold to work with, since you're only really focused on heroes and getting T3, but I don't know if it's necessary to allow, especially the Necro, because like, now I can't heal, I just, to, I just have to get out, but I have no juice because I used it. Oh no, there's the Expo juice. <laughs> Oh, 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 Creoria. Ah, the expo. Elemental s workers sitting around. Uh, oh, yeah, he forgot. A bit. Yep, not filled, and workers still still just sitting around. So, what will be the tech units? See some more zombie peons. You're tier 2 right here. Or is it tier 3? Tier 2, right? Cathedral. Yep, uh, looks like tier two. The shadows beckon. There's basically like a hero one. army. Oh, and we see uh, my one of my favorite units here, the flying Ted Fiends, the Rot Fly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Look at this. There they come. <laughs> and they already have the upgrades too. Very tanky already. Flying Fiends. So they have also uh, siege damage. Very good for laming. Yeah, Wonder this if is this is his plan right here. Well, I have the priest now, but the micro is not so good. Oh, surround. Oh, he doesn't close the surround on the necro. He might still get it. Uh, the slow, does it come from the fiends as well? The rod flies? I think it's mostly from uh, from the blighted one, the I can't remember what it's called. Oh, the hero like here. Anguish or something, but yeah, it's from the hero. It like slows, and I think it's negative four armor or something, and then like pretty big nuke, but just single target. Oh wow, a lot of a lot of flies, a lot of flies. Yeah, there are many rod flies right here. This looks quite good. Oh, thanks for the follow. Back. Oh, there's a raid. Thank you very much, man. But I would just oh, heck? <laughs> check here. So late, man. Thank you for the raid, man. Thank you, thank you. Play Pella Rifle on Warcraft. <laughs> I want three champions, all right. Yeah, I will later. Later I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's understand. loud, right? I have to change that somehow. I don't know how. So right now, what we are doing here, we are watching the first series of Warhammer Eternal Strife, which is a mod uh, with 16 new races and which was in development for 13 years Our champion has and still gets uh, balance changes and stuff like that very very creative very cool mod and uh, right now we are trying to and the, the map maker is trying to do some more esports in it we had a grubby tournament already on the grubby's channel you can watch this as well and uh, this year is like the qualifier for the next tournament, this league. For the best ones, they will sign up for the tournament in the end. We also have some pro gamers that will uh, participate. Maybe DICE will participate as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. We keep getting more and more pro players. So I'm, I'm really... I know people don't have much time to practice, right? Because you have to spend, I mean... You know, it's like five hours a day or more on uh, just Warcraft 3 as it is, but I think they're good enough. They could just pick up the game as long as they pick up just like a race Research that they have, have fun with. And they can still be competitive, like very much so. At least compared to just like the amateur players who are still kind of learning how to play the game as it is. 
Yeah, there's a lot to discover, a lot of things that you can try out and you can still uh, try to create new strategies and timings. And I think this is one big part uh, what makes the fun of this mod right now. Because there are so many possibilities with uh, so many races. Maybe for some in the beginning it's like, wow, what the fuck, so much, uh, I can't learn this. But man, really doesn't matter, it's so much fun to figure stuff out. Just to focus on one race and uh, yeah, try things, it's really, really cool. And by the way, Soul Ape Man, I, aren't you the sitting president of the Polish uh, Pala Rifle Academy? If you're still here in the chat. If yes, I have some questions for you. Commander in chief of the, the Pala Rifle community in Poland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's sick. He had some uh, YouTube videos about Pala Rifles as well, but I don't know if it's him, to be honest. I think so. The Pala Rifle University, exactly. There's a university and an academy. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to graduate from the uh, the academy to go to the university, or other way around? Uh, yeah, I think it's like that. I have to I have to ask. But it's like very professional. I kind of say. So Polish, I, I need to join it. <laughs> Maybe I can still watch the videos though. <laughs> yeah, you can check out his uh, YouTube videos. So we have here necromancers on your side. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the abilities of these caster units? Yep, they're pretty. They're pretty interesting actually because they're a bit like regular human priests, right? They have the heal, but they can also I believe they just summon, you know, units from corpses if you actually get the training. I don't think I end up going for the training in this match, just because I don't, I don't think I had the lumber. This is a big problem. I needed to fix this way earlier on, but even now I think I'm waiting on lumber. But yeah, they're quite versatile. Uh, it is mana. It's quite costly mana, though, wise to, to go for the, like, raise dead. So you kind of need to know what you want. So, ah, yeah, and Nightmare also just said it's they have like heal, a summon, and bloodlust. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. Yeah, Go ahead. Oh, no, no, you're you're right, because it's perfect, because I forgot what the last ability was, but yeah, bloodlust, super good. I, so, probably should have trained them to, to master for this, but... You get uh, two chambers of the Undying. This is where you can build the casters, right? Yep. And ooh, we see right there, first uh, first vampire comes out as well. Ooh, we see the first Karstein vampires that are riding these uh, frost worms right here. They're on top there, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, super strong unit. Oh, and maybe we'll see if this is a good timing. Immediately the focus goes on to the vampire. But, of course, flying units can't surround, so relatively safe, but the necros, not so much. And that's level 4 on the blighted one. Wow, that's a lot of uh, poison damage there on such a tanky unit. Didn't expect the damage, man, of these rot flies. Yeah, and this, who's gonna die? 20 health? Oh, gets, wow, gets staffed out. How did it not die? I guess he doesn't have range damage, so he just had to reach it with the fly, but wow, it, that's, <laughs> that should have been a lost vampire for sure. I think I have to catch up a little bit because I tapped out and then it pauses the oh, game, so I'm at uh, 1940 right now. Perfect, still going, and then I'll consider it 44. Ah, perfect, yeah, and I'm at the right time now. We have a big fight right here. The Kashan Vampire gets focused, but he's not dying. Yep, not dying. And it hits nighttime. I get to summon uh, all the thralls from the, the Karnstein Vampire himself. And so you see the galleon shit. What is this? A lot of extra units, and all of a sudden. And even the workers joining in. And yeah, the vampire still lives. I have a big uh, vampire ship right here. 
Yeah, this is the crazy thing is at nighttime they they get this this galleon because normally they get the if you can see he kind of looks like a like a bear thing like the zombie bear. You normally get this strigoi uh, strigoi I don't know how to say it but the thrall. But at nighttime you get this this galleon and it comes with its own summons that you can buy. So your army can go from you know like maybe like uh, twenty pot worth of heroes to like 70 pop technically but it's not actually it's mostly summoned units and there's another kashtan vampire it immediately focus the summons are there though the healing and it's nighttime the percent healing at nighttime changes everything those kashtan vampires big health pool they actually get healed just fine and yeah this fight is not looking good for priori he needs to get out of here I don't, I don't think maybe he can tell that it's going so badly, but heavy, heavy losses. Oh, he might get a hero kill. Oh, save. Oh, so low again. The second one. Second ship there. Yep, the ship's doing damage. He's microing the heroes, but needs to micro the rock flies. Oh no, the heal comes out. Oh, and he's Nine. losing both of his heroes right here. Uh, that hurts. Yeah, and without the heroes to aid, all of a sudden the rock flies just don't look that, that good because the attack is so slow. They do. Oh, he does get a hero killer. Yeah, this looks very, very hard to deal with. Two very tanky von Karstein vampires and uh, the vampire coast galleons. Very interesting combination. I think it's like a very late tech units, right? Yep. Late tech units. They have the siege damage. All these extra summons. It's still nighttime, so I could just. I mean, the, the galleons, they last a long time, so you could just summon them again and get there's probably going to be a fourth one coming soon I imagine this looks a bit too much now Our warriors have yeah, so you got the expo and I think he's not able to defend this right now he has some high tech units built here in front of his base that can morph into uh, rock flies or other units but that won't be enough against this force right here Yep, the new galleon comes out. The old one is gonna expire, but that's okay. There might be another galleon soon. And yeah, the siege damage is it's ramping up. All the some all these you see these like cursed skeletons, these they're just chopping the building, they all come from the galleons. Yep, there's another galleon. It's too much. Okay, so this time Sandal here is playing the Dogs of War. Another race. So how the league is working, if you're losing, you can, um, apart other options, you can say, okay, my enemy needs to play another race. This is what happened here right now. Dogs of War, very cool race uh, in my opinion as well. It's very versatile depending on what specs you go. Uh, what spec you go like for example every race has four specs that transforms the race like if you certain types of units and you can you have to choose or you can choose one of them in the beginning so i'm curious to see uh, what you're going for normally most of the people are going for a different hero and a different spec i think like these arab like looking unit spec i forgot the name sadly but here i think we see something else right now On the other side like in the game before we see demons of chaos of creoria um similar bo i think Arabi, it's utter imba yeah lol <laughs> i've been trying to master the sensei strat for a while and it just doesn't look as strong as base spec okay so the base spec, in your opinion, is very strong. I think there is still much to uh, to try out. So the sense I, 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 th I think I never played this hero to be honest. 
Oh, you gotta try it. It's fun. It's fun to play. It's fun to play. Uh, what abilities does he have? Uh, was that Nightmare that said uh, he's trying to master, or was it uh, Kemsit or someone? Uh, speed 4 z was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I agree with him. Uh, real quick, the abilities, though. Uh, he's basically just got, like, a default... He has, like, a, a passive crit that's just skilled from the beginning, as you can see right there. And then he has two different passive versions. One is, uh, like, strength and crit damage. And then the other is Agi and uh, Crit Chance. And then his first ability, which is uh, Summon. I don't think it's very good, uh, but I'm probably wrong because I think Summons are usually good. I just have to try it more, I think. But yeah, he's basically Blade Master, but super, uh, super damage oriented and no Wind Walk, right? So not as safe, but basically the same. I see, I see. So, and I think it's also an agility hero, right? So, very good find here on the first creep. You do like some uh, item creep right here. Just take the cheese from the food here and uh, you get the slippers of agility. Very nice item. And we see this time the taker of skulls. Oh, yeah. Super strong demons of chaos hero now, right? Used to be horrible before the changes uh, just because of like I mean, he had much lower health I feel like than he does now as well but maybe that's not one of the changes uh, what are the changes I oh, forget oh. all of them nightmare will know oh, okay. know. oh you've got a uh, unit here nice stuff Ah, oh, you got the stuff from the from the shop and in the beginning you sold your items to have more gold and you have this Shiro building here. This is depending on the spec, right? Yep. Yeah, this is the main building of... Uh, oh. Ooh, and I see you go... Uh, yeah, the gold sigil rings that gives you plus six agility. Like if you combine two items here, it's a little bit like in Dota, you can get a better item. And he combined them so he get two or sigils right here and yeah they give you plus 12 agility <coughs> but you sold the slippers yep had to end up selling the slippers uh i probably didn't looking back i don't think i need this this scimitar for the attack speed i don't know if it's necessary but I, I thought maybe it was good at the time and I, I was think I think my thought process was I would upgrade it to the lantern and then I would just keep scouting with the the sensei. So it would be better to have extra vision, but I don't think that ends up happening really. Research complete. Hello Enter Q. Ah, uh, Intero in the building. Ooh, meanwhile though on the other side. Ah, it's Intero, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> taking taking the proper approaches is Creoria just creeping his expansion. Yeah, and Taro. Don't enter Q. Just <laughs> well, <laughs> we have an expansion here. Oh, why did he lose a unit right there at the end? Huh. Happens. Yeah. It was like there's no poison from the axe throwers. I guess it's just unlucky or something. Or maybe he can use the skill on his own units. Yeah, normally uh, units also won't die from poison. They will just stop at uh, 1 HP normally. Yeah, that's why I was, I was like, huh. I think maybe he just hit it himself. I had to look back, but it's not that important. He has more. Oh, you see the creeping now is super fast now that he has more blood letters, the crits. But let's see the damage right here. Oh, come to do some more harass, it looks like. Oh, but the micro's not good. Where am I going? Uh-oh. Yeah, lost a lot of health for no reason. Yeah, you could see the passive of the units. Instead of dying, they get full HP again. Which happens by chance, depending on the mana. Ooh. Yep. And he oh, got your hero like, right there. Oh, yep. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, what is the eminent Magus? 
mages what, what can he do this hero is uh this hero is funny right because even though he's named something else for for the empire i think it's just the same unit he's basically just like the wizard lord slash i, I think they're the, literally the same but you get to choose from like the eight schools of magic just like the empire has and then you you basically get like a passive you get an, all the abilities that the regular casters have but just for your hero so you can level them without having to get the tech right so it's it can be good depending on what you go i don't know why i went looks like I went like the fire spec here which is not not very good i gotta say it's not very good in this instance probably should have just gone for some healing or something ah, i see so you can choose between multiple types of spells for this hero yeah and you got like the fire and what it, what does it do it's like uh just some damage or what is, does it do yeah i think it's just some damage at level one you basically put like a you put like a buff i think it lasts it lasts like a good amount of time maybe like 60 seconds but it basically is it's like eight fire damage over three seconds or something and that's pretty much it so not really that strong especially at level one but it does get stronger with levels but and as I see, you're a huge fan of uh, heroes only right now. <laughs> you put nearly all the money into uh, damage items right here to buff the heroes. And so far, you can pick apart one after the other blood letter right here. Yeah, everything invested in the heroes. Ooh. And he and ripped ooh, your skull out, yeah. man. He ripped your skull out. once again, you lose <laughs> the hero. Yeah, can't underestimate the damage of the skull taker with the execute. I mean, it's not really an execute, but it might as well be. I think it's... If they get, like, to below 175 or something, they could just die. Playing a little too risky. Quiori is cycling out his units wall. Expo's looking good. It looks like this is maybe going to be a tower, I guess. And then he's got another worker coming over, so maybe something else. I'm not sure. Is he building more units? Yeah, he's got stables coming, so... This is probably... I mean, he looks like he's... He's, like, full into the Cornite spec, so this is probably Skull Takers. Or, I mean, not Skull Takers, uh, Skull Cannons. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Oh, hero, gonna die. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, ends up, I end up saving the hero with the, with the staff again, but that was looking bad. So right now I would say it looks much better for Cryoria because he has an expansion all the time. He has 3,100 gold. What is he waiting for? I that think he's complete. getting some big tech right now. Oh, 3.99 on the Taker of Skulls. So close to level 4. Yeah, hero almost level 4. He's got units. He's building towers. I don't know why he builds them so far from the expo. I feel like, I mean, it's just, since it's a, it's like the undead mine, right? You might as well just build them kind of like right around it so you can't even get in, but. Yeah, very interesting positioning here. And meanwhile, me, oh, yep, they are, okay, yeah, skull cannons, first two skull cannons on the way. And meanwhile, I'm struggling, it looks like, with resources. Right, no expo. Expo not even cleared. Oh yeah, the skull cannons, they are strong. They have fortified armor. As you can see, and a huge range. So they are very, very good uh, siege weapons right here. He has nearly 4,000 gold. What is he going for, I'm wondering. You can see here the color of uh, the mining wood is different. Like, it's depending on how long they are lumbering. Um, depending on the time, they get better at it. And then the color changes as well. 
pretty cool. Two night blades mixed in here. So I think it's a high damage but very very squishy army that you, that you have right here. And you can get already a building. Ooh, hero the hero. Down. Yeah, you get the hero. Damage. There's a lot of damage, man. Very big crits. Crit through his army. But he has 5,000 gold, man. Yeah. I would expect... Oh, he's... Okay. So this is why I was going to say I would expect... No, he is tier 2. No second hero. I feel like there should definitely be a second hero on the way. I think he needs a second hero for supply, right? This is how yeah, it works. Yeah, because supply locked. Because, <clears throat> yeah, one thing about Demons of Chaos, you have to build, bas you basically are forced to build all of the barracks and then multiple heroes. Otherwise, you just end up like this where you supply locked. Luckily, if you're building heroes, you always have the choice of just, you can use like the, uh, I forget what it's called, but there's a, there's something that gives you max uh, pop caps so that you can build heroes always pretty much, as long as you queue one up during that time. Work complete. Yeah, he should definitely have built a second hero. I guess he was not worried about it. Next barracks comes up now, though, and now he's T3. Research complete. And he has a lot of school cannons. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. He's got school cannons, the two towers. <laughs> I mean, base is pretty open, but I guess don't have to worry about that. There's no big army coming from me. What is he spending his lumber on? Is it just... Is he finally teching somewhere? Ooh, and we, a lot of lumber, we also see a very cool item here on the Sensei. Uh, we have the Bounty Hunter Sword. It gives 5 damage, and if you kill a unit, it gives you 45 gold. Pretty cool. Yeah, very cool item. And a lot of items on both heroes. Health. Oh, two health pots. Wow. On the, on the Magus. Overall leveling going quite well. Heroes still coming up for Creoria. I have no idea what he spent all of the lumber on. Where did it go? There's no way it just was for the hero. He had like 800 lumber. But I don't see upgrades. Maybe he's building upgrades somewhere. Yeah, I think Rayoria has a very, very big problem with lumber right now. He needs more... Uh, yeah, and he is doing this. He's queuing a lot of lumber workers right now. He is saying, okay, I need to fix this. And he is also getting a wood splitter right here. Who uh, helps. Perfect. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite units, the Wood Splitter. Also the best voice actor in the game. Absolutely. Yeah, this is always a great idea. I feel like people not, they don't get a splitter enough. Especially with some of the, like, certain races, right? You kind of need it to supplement because the lumber is just so horrible. And you don't want to spend, especially with a race like this, right? You don't want to spend, like, a, a ton of a ton of supply on workers, right? Just get a splitter instead. We see a bright wizard here. What can he do? Oh, so this is actually, ironically, this is the fire wizard. So basically all the same stuff. He has like the passive that, well, it's not a passive. It's like a, a buff that they put on units and they deal extra damage. And then he's got a AoE, like uh, an AoE stun that does damage. And then basically like a, a castable immolation on someone. I don't think I used the stun at all in this match. I, I wasn't sure whether it was still not not working. At one point we tested it and it was crashing games sometimes, but I didn't test it in this game just because I was worried about it. But it's I think Nightmare fixed it a while ago. I come from the darkness of the pit. Now we see the second oh. hero here. There we go, second hero. Which An extra barracks are up. Yeah, which opens also more supply finally, so he can spend his gold. Oh, Creoria not passing items to the new hero though. That's kind of interesting. I feel I'm I'm a big fan of just passing items when you have like a full inventory hero to the new hero. 
You don't need to pass all of them, of course, but... Research complete. And we see a speed buff. He also buff. doesn't buy any. I didn't even think about that. He doesn't buy any. He's got 4,000 gold, but he doesn't buy any uh, any items for the new girl either. Oh, speed buff. Oh, look at this damage, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh my gosh. Slave. Just uh, erase this poor guy here. Oh my gosh, the new hero shows up and immediately just gets assassinated and then he's out of there. Ooh, and you have all only uh three no four guys in the in the gold mine right here. Uh oh. Yeah. In your main. Happens. Oh it happened to me in a competitive match that was so sad. <laughs> oh, that's pain. Uh, I didn't realize. That was all the time. Like, why do I? Why do I have so little units? And then figure yeah, it out. Like, oh fuck. Work <laughs> complete. Work complete. Yeah, work no complete. wonder. No wonder. I mean, I spent a ton of gold on items, but no wonder the gold was so bad for a while there. And now it's fixed, right? The expo came up during uh, during that point when Creoria was kind of delayed. But the army still looks good. And am I just gonna throw away the hero again? I've done it a couple times now. He, he also has a Juggernaut now, a tier 3 unit with two upgrades already, so pretty tanky and it deals a lot of melee damage. Hero almost goes down. Not quite. Yeah, there's, there's creeping going on, but now the problem, I am i can't really heal. Oh, I got a big health pot somewhere, though. I have two big... Wow, that's lucky drops. Two big health pots on the Magus. I come from the darkness of the pit. Meanwhile, Cryoria is still struggling a little bit with his supply. Finally, the second hero is there. That means more supply for him. And now he really needs to spend his gold. He has so much in his bank. Yeah, I Another drive-by. Ooh, 45 gold. Another 45 gold. Another one. Whoa, this is, this is pretty nice for you here. Gold workers gone just like that. Yeah, super annoying harass. But now the army is strong from Creoria. What was oh, what that? There? Yeah. What, why is these units the are stuck hell? in the trees? We're under attack! So especially these uh, skull cannons are pretty good against the casters because they have unarmored uh, armor type right here. <laughs> this is a lot of damage, man. Oh my gosh. On the building. Just like that, Expo destroyed. All but the hero, one crit. Oh, three misses, but still you got him. Wow. And yeah, you have to take care of these skull cannons, otherwise they will demolish your whole base. Yeah. Focusing on the Juggernaut, doing more hero focus. Yeah, there are very high resources on both sides right here. Oh, there's a hero. Aye, 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 hero Can he hold? Again. Ooh, thanks for the follow, man. 
Ooh, second hero down. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, but the towers. Oh my goodness. And he got Just the TP survived. right in time here. Okay, what is the answer? A lot of gold on both sides. So what is happening right now? And I mean, Creori just comes right back, right? Just by health pot, heal up. There's so many cannons. Yeah, I don't see how he could lose this right now. He just have to attack the base, and it's uh, it's over, right? Yeah. I mean, he has this much gold even without refilling the gold mine. He didn't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, I don't need that. I come from the darkness of the pit. Second hero back up. Rebuilding the expo. Oh, it's going to come up just to get destroyed, though. Most likely. This and FFA, awesome evening. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very cool as FFA, man. Circles around, expo, rebuilt, seconds ago, and it will fall even faster. Or repairing? Yeah, there's no chance. So yeah, it looks like the skull cannons have such a critical mass right now that it's very hard to deal with, even though you have a very strong sensei hero right here but uh sadly the school cannons have 45 armor and plus five uh, plus four by any by this buff here yep i think we'll just pick apart your main right yeah i Ooh. think as soon as the altar goes down oh there's a lot the of front. damage man how can you deal with the hero he has to rip out his skull again otherwise he will lose his cannons. <laughs> and this is a lot of damage. What the hell? Oh my gosh, almost one. This is a Dota hero right here. Oh, but he ripped his skull and oh, he got him. This is crazy. <laughs> Does he still die though? He decides to turn around, really. And this is one of those moments where in Dota, right, you just have like life steal, but no such no such option for this race, as far as I know. I think there is a life steal caster, but I don't have it here. I think it's the uh I think it's the Amethyst Wizards that have the lifesteal passive aura. So, and I'm pretty sure I'm just building random wizards. I would just have to get lucky. Research complete. Oh man, you can certainly feel how like. The, the Magus just doesn't feel useful, though. Definitely, this is not the not the school of magic to go to. Work complete. Work complete. I don't know what my plan was. I think it maybe it was Work just complete. to give the Work the complete. sensei Work like the complete. fire shield and then have him be <laughs> fighting, complete. but it's not working. Work complete. Work complete. Work complete. Research complete. Yeah, I think what would be very efficient uh, would be something that heals him or gives him some uh, armor or something like that, right? Definitely. 
And hopefully we don't, I don't want to downplay uh, the Magus. I think if you just go for like the, I think it's College of Life. I mean, if you just go that spec, it's a lot of healing. It's like 40 healing per second or something. So, and it only costs like five mana, 10 mana. So super mana efficient, super insane single target healing. As long as he just gets to stand in the back. But yeah, definitely a blunder <laughs> to go for this. Oh, and we see the Bloodthirster here on the side of Cryoria. Very late game unit, and pretty, pretty strong. Can uh, call a meteor from the skies. Looks like I had some workers scouting his expo or something. How did workers get over there? Wow. This is a pretty big damage buff here. The attack speed is insane. But he got a debuff. And he will miss by chance. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh oh, but he got you. He got him. Oh, dead. Yep. <laughs> and I think that should be it, right? Lighted one level two. The staff out. Oh no, TP. Okay, never mind. Ah, uh, and the third hero for Creoria. Okay, this should be enough. We're completely We're under attack. Upgrade complete. Yeah, now we see a very strong attack right here by Creoria with a lot of skull cannons. The hero, the main damage source, is gone, is not alive yet. So he's using this for him. Level 6 on the skull taker. Quite some while. More cars is coming, but oh, without the sensor, I think it will be very hard. Is he able to nuke your altar? I think this would be the go-to right here. Yeah, so I think hero kill, altar, these casters, super expensive as well. Oh my gosh, 100 more XP over level 7. And now the altar. And this looks like game. We're under attack. Yeah, he loses his hero again, but that should be GG. Caster's gonna die. Yeah, these cannons can attack a ground, as you can see right here. Yeah, and with tier 3 upgrades, 85 to 165. Hero gonna go down as well. Oh, I try to get... Yeah, I think I'm still Dogs of War, and Creoria is going... Going orcs. Why are my uh, colors then so weird? Doesn't Make match up. So you are dogs of war, yeah? So Sandal dogs of war and Cryoria this time. Orcs and goblins this way. It's very weird. My colors strange. Yeah, it's probably what happens with nightmares. Same thing. Ready to work. But yeah, the sensor looks pretty fun. I would try this. I would try this later, I think, as well. I didn't even know this hero. <laughs> what spec do you have to go? Uh, Ready to work. Well, what is it called? Oh, I'm in the map. Yay. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> it's like Elayoy or something along those lines. I forget. Ready to work. But it uh, it has the, the yin yang uh, icon. Complete. So that's all I know. Uh, I have team colors on, that's that's why. Uh, with this overlay right now, I can't change the team colors only by hotkeys, and I don't know the hotkey. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. Ready to work.
So this time we see a different spec and we see the Patriarch. What can he do? So this hero is funny. Uh, he's basically like a druid. He can go... He can basically just go bear form from the start of the game. And then he has... It's pretty much endurance aura. I think it's attack speed and movement speed. As well as... Summoning another skill complete. which I don't it Ready? doesn't seem that strong it's just like a, you cast it and it basically summons like uh, crows that attack units in the area that you cast it it doesn't go with you or anything it just it just sits where you cast it looks One funny to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> this hero looks like uh, he looks like lone druid for sure Summoning. <laughs> And we see some uh, creep lodges here, some goblin lodges that are used for creeping as well because they can summon little snotlinger. Like here, like you can see right here, they're helping uh, here creeping and he was deciding to go for the goblin boss, a very cool hero. He has a very strong passive, so um, if the unit, the enemy unit is under a certain amount of health, it's like 25% or 30% something like that he deals extra damage with his passive and this is a lot of damage on his auto attacks right then and also which combines it very well with these goblins that you see right here these little goblins they have very high damage but are super squishy and a spell of this goblin boss can stun an opponent so you can surround it with these little goblins and assassinate uh, single targets Pretty effective. This had better be worth it. Summoning is complete. Super, super cool. I wasn't sure for a little while there. It's it for some guys it felt like maybe the snotlings, if they get the kill, then you don't get the XP, but I don't think that's the case. I'm also but not in sure some games it felt like it. A nightmare, if you hear that. Do you know if you get XP if the snotlings kill a hero or kill a unit? Our forces are under attack. Snots give XP when they kill units. Oh, we see an expo attempt right here and also the creep jack at the meantime so nice timing here by Kriaria. and he gets your hero with a high damage and stun also lowers your armor with the spell as well yep beautifully done made sure to get level two before <laughs> it came for this harassment right on time hero kill uh, good night mm. b4z thanks for watching and see you soon, man. This is a very close fight right here. Yeah, decides to focus. It might have just been better for Kriori to just try and take the other trapper and then leave for a moment, come back, maybe try and cancel the expo, but tries to just kill the hero. We'll see. And he uses the forbidden... Uh, drugs right here so the goblins get stronger but they will die after some seconds is complete. oh yep so one goblin gonna die two actually all of them yep and expo not cancelled so yeah he got the we'll expo work. up second hero is there again so yeah i think you should be able to uh, defend this right tower is coming up as yep, well nice deal there on the trapper nicely done yeah This cursed skeleton here comes from a killed worker. So when the workers are getting killed, uh, some form of natural defense is that they morph into these skeletons right here. Ah, this time heal on a second hero. Ooh, we yeah, see snotlings already. a little bit too far from the house. Oh, yeah. But already, just from that moment, you can see how much the healing is, even at level one, right? Yes, it is pretty useful, especially in the beginning for creeping. 
And we see now um, tier two Ready to work. for the orc and the goblins. Is complete. So what is he going for? He goes for more Ready goblin lodges. Is a second hero there? No, not yet. He is uh, not supply blocked. But he has a lot of money right now. Meanwhile, the expansion is running. Ready to work. But some wood issues right now, so Sandal is not able to tech right now, so he needs more more sea dogs right here. They are being trained also in the in the main and there's a new building. It is a a crap post. We post. Yeah, something like that. I, I can't I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> it's something like the barracks for the spec, right? Ready to work. Yep. Yeah, you can train some uh, like winged hussar units, some cavalry type units. They're basically knights, but a little bit squishier. And then these Ready to work. Druzhinik units, which are pretty cool. Uh, essentially, eventually you can you can spec, and then uh, they can have like magic damage as their main attack type. Our forces are under attack. Summoning is Cryaria is uh, healing up, which is always a little bit of a struggle for orcs because they need this totem and they can't uh, move while healing. So yeah, he bought a potion for that, so at least his hero is healthy again right now. He has still the tech advantage, but Sandal has really the economy advantage right now. But really needs more wood. I haven't seen these. <laughs> what is the name? Drutsinik. Drutsinik warriors right here. Yeah, we're just gonna. Hopefully, that's close enough. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. But they're pretty cool units. They're pretty cool units for sure. Late game, you can get magic attack type. And they're still. You know, they're basically like. Uh, soup, they're like juiced up footies in some ways. Very funny character model here as well. Yeah. The pike helmets. So yeah, see some creep in here on both sides. Really nice with the heel. Level 3 now for the goblin boss. It's a cool, nice power spike if you put two uh, skill points into the passive. It's a lot of damage. <coughs> if he's able to Auto attack. Drujinik. <laughs> oh, oh, here attack. we go. Attack on the expo again. Hasn't been repaired. And that's a lot of damage, yeah. There's tons of damage by the little goblins right here. Very hard to stop that because they also have medium armor, so they don't take so much damage off the, the watchtower right here. Yeah, he got the. He gets it. It's the expansion. Yeah, the begins, but way too late. And now the workers. Ah, but the watchtower is still, still chipping away, bit by bit. But it looks like it's hitting the hero and just doing no damage. Yeah. Hero is so getting that, healed in the meantime by the totem right here. Yeah, doing a lot of work. Now you can see maybe the damage against the low HP target. Oh no! What? I think he didn't he didn't use the the skill because the damage wasn't wasn't big. It was not uh, looked like he didn't use the the passive there. Yeah, but somehow the hero survives there. That is odd. Yeah, pretty oh, and replenishment potion just on the ground. I think he, maybe he forgot it. Okay, so uh, TP out the right here. There we go. Yeah, TP. Summoning is complete. Oh, meanwhile, 
one of his own goblins. Animosity was attacking one of his own goblin lodges for a second after it got trained. Always one thing you have to worry about playing orcs and goblins. If you go for this goblin spec, you might have to worry about units Standard being trained and then uh, turn coding for a bit. Yeah, this is one mechanic of the orcs and goblins that d depending on your vag and depending on your animosity, um, there's a chance that newly trained units, they will just attack whatever is around them. So, so uh, they will attack your own units and you can't control them for some time, which is pretty annoying sometimes. <laughs> but also funny to watch. So he has a lot of goblins right now, and I wonder if he has the um, spec that he can go invis and assassinate some units right here. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah, I want to say he does, right? I think this is what the powder is. He has the powder. I feel like that is the invis spec, but he doesn't have the training for it out of the town hall. Maybe the gold is an issue? Oh, there's a stun on the hero. Oh, nice interruption. Oh, he needs to focus the healer, though. And he has, bit by bit. Oh, no, it's poison. Nice, stuns again. Poison doing damage. We got uh, winged lancers here. Oh, winged lancers? How, how do you pronounce that? Yep, the winged lancers. They're up now. A winged. Okay. And they're cool because, as you can see right here, they have this charge. It's. I think there's a few races that have this on their units, but you get you get to just walk through. You have no unit collision. And ah. have like extra yeah, that's cool. So you got a hero by that. Who has to be careful with his goblin boss right here. But the snotlings have out. Oh, no surround on the bear though. <laughs> yep, healing continues. <laughs> winged. <laughs> <laughs> the winged. Okay, okay. You can see now. Now that the uh, Magus is level three, the healing from the the healing from the spell is just a lot. It is running out of mana though. Oh, but the Goblin Boss still not really healed. Ooh, the trades, the trades seem good for Creoria so far. And I just see that they have also medium armor type, so the goblins deal an insane amount of damage to these winged lancers. But uh, the other way around is same, so. Both have uh, medium armor and normal damage type, so units fall quite quickly here. Research complete. Ooh, All so of a sudden, the trade's not looking so good. Well, he did send one, send one goblin across the map. It does get a kill too, uh, but gets cleaned up by the tower. Summoning is complete. There's a lot of gold again on your side, but no lumber. Our forces are under attack. The wood splitter would be quite useful right now, I think. Yeah, and on the other side, Creoria, no, so much, so much lumber. <laughs> yeah, no gold, but, but lumber. <laughs> Expo. Yeah. Probably just needs to sell. Oh, he doesn't even have items to sell. I mean, can he, can he expo, maybe? I mean, it's open. I think he has to try. Yeah, he has to do something about your expansion right here. Otherwise, he won't have a chance later. 
We see some more creeping. The winged lancers have a lot of upgrades, three upgrades already here. One armor and two damage. And a second hero is coming, the man eater battle master. Research complete. Oh, is he just going to attack Expo again? I feel like he he has to get the Expo up. And it, it, maybe it has to come before the Magus gets level 4. Because then the healing kind of just gets out of hand. Yeah, right now he has to kick this expansion. Otherwise, I think he will lose the game. Bräuchte noch ein Kindchenfresser. We also need a, ch a children eater, he says. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is nice. He gets a couple of we a couple of the lancers. Gets the creep jack. Uh, but he brings oh, the goblin bosses here, though. No level two on the shaman because of it. Just eats up all the XP that maybe would have gotten level Ooh. two. Nice snipe on the goblin boss. Oh, and this looks bad. Ah, there's the man eater. Is he gonna eat this guy? He might. <laughs> Can he really eat units? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and the speed from the, the aura on the Patriarch actually doing a lot of work. Is he going to lose the Shaman as well? If he loses the Shaman, it's, it's over for sure. He still has no gold. Gold mine's about to... It's about to be destroyed. Well, not destroyed, but run out of gold eventually. Yeah, he got blocked oh. there and... Oh. I think this is over, is it? Yeah. So yeah, 2-2-1 two, two, for Sandal.